Have you wondered how to properly put together your plates and your shims for cutting fabric with your Gemini from Crafters Companion? I'm Pat Sloan and I only cut fabric, so I'm gonna show you the exact step and order and how to be successful cutting your fabric. So let's take a look at what you actually need and that would be the four different components here. You've got uh, plates and shims. The plates come, there's three different things called a plate and one called a shim. So we're going to take a look at all that right down here so we can see it up close. So first of all, let's talk about these plates. They are pretty firm. You can't really bend them and they're clear. They will start to become cloudy and show all of the cut marks as you go and they will tend to curve a little bit. So that's why also with these you need to keep rotating them. All of the plates and shim you rotate. But this is what they look like and you're using two of these when we work. One on the bottom and one on the very, very top. The other two units are, we have uh, the plastic shim and the metal plate. Both of these are pliable. So you can see I'm bending them. They, you know, they have a much more give than these plastic plates. So the, the plastic uh, shim is very um, pliable and as you use it, it will start to get lots and lots of etch marks like this. It'll also start to curve and that's pretty normal, which is why you are always rotating it every time and moving your dies everywhere, all around it. Don't keep cutting in one spot because it could actually just cut right through. It's gonna wear it out. You want to be moving those all around. Now the metal plate is also very flexible and it will start to have lots of cut marks. This is the layer that the fabric sits on and the die will come right into contact with this, the ridge of the die, which is cutting. So this is the cutting, you know, it's really important for the cutting. This you rotate as well. So let's put together a, um, you know, whew, what's the word? <laughs> a sandwich, I guess. Let's put together like a, a little sandwich here so that you can see the order. So I have a three and a half inch die. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the dies yet, they have a ridge. So I'm gonna hold this up there. You can see the ridge. It is not sharp. My finger's right on it. It is smooth. It's what presses down into the fabric. It's always going down. You always want the ridge down. You always want the smooth side facing you. So I have four pieces of fabric, but first I need to put my metal down because I'm doing fabric, I want the metal first. And I want to move it around, so I'm going to put it somewhere on here. And I'm layering it so that I have right sides together for two sets, right sides together. And I know that the top one of these is my one that has the, the, is the smallest unit. The other ones were a little bit bigger. So I want this top one here so that I can see for placement. See, it's, it's pretty um, tight. You know, I'm being, I'm using up that piece of fabric. So I don't want that hidden underneath where it could shift as I'm moving it. I want to be able to see that one. So I have a clear plate, the metal plate. Now I'm going to put the plastic shim and I've just rotated them all around like I do. And that will be pressed down. And then on top of this, we'll go the other uh, outside plate. That's and now we're going to be making this sandwich and putting it into the machine. So we will watch it go through and I'll pull out a bit so you can see it. Okay, to get the, so you don't want the sandwich to be sliding around too much because my die can move, which it just did. So I need to be sure it doesn't move. I jiggled it a little bit. All right, now I'm ready. Get that sandwich held down and then I put it in here and as soon as the machine starts running you can see it go through and it just takes off on its own and it's crunching right now it's pressing that die to cut those four layers of fabric for us so nice and easy okay let's let's take a look so we have two layers on top again 
and I will take the die off and then here we go with the triangles. So here is my waist which isn't very much and I have them already right sides together. So the plaids, the two plaids, right sides, right sides. Now I want to show you I have one already sewn up. When you uh, let's see, come down here. So when you have this, when you have these, two of these right sides together, you just run it through the machine because the edges are already blunt cut off and that means that you are not going to have to uh, cut any dog ears. It's already the exact size so you're not going to have to trim anything. So here is one sewn and then when I press it open it is an exact uh, three and a half. So if I put the ruler on there it's an exact three and a half. You do need to be uh, right spot on your quarter inch seam allowance but when you do that you save yourself a lot of time because you don't have to do any trimming. You don't have to trim it down. You don't have to cut the dog ears off. You just run them through and then go to your machine and sew like the wind. <laughs> I'm Pat Sloan. This is one of my instructional videos for how I'm using the Gemini from Crafters Companion to cut my fabric. If you're on Facebook, join me at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. Otherwise, find everything I'm doing or in addition at patsloan.com. See you later.